I find some uh, interesting contrast here as we continue studying the scripture. Matthew chapter 5, we talked about the salt of the earth and how that's the church and we should not lose our savor. Yesterday, we talked about that city on the hill that the church should be. And it says that when the city is on the hill and it's all lit up, then everybody's going to see it. And it's going to have an impact in the world because of what comes out of it. And of course, we're talking about spiritual renewal. And when spiritual renewal takes place, it changes society. But then he goes on in his teaching and he talks about uh, putting the light under the bushel so that it gets hid so the people don't see the church in action. They, they don't see it. And so as a result of it is the old expression, out of sight, out of mind. And so the contrast is, he says, he you take it and you put it on a candlestick to where the light shines forth and everybody sees it. But the contrast that I see is uh, the church that's on the hill and the church that lets its light so shine compared to the church that's also humble and meek, as he talks about in the uh, section where he talks about the blessed. And I say, okay, Lord. We're not to be braggadocious. We're not to be people who says, look at me, look at me, look at me. But instead, we're to be a people who goes about our business. And uh, as we go about our daily activities, we represent the church in such a way that people can't help but see it. Well, he said, well, Pastor King, how do we do that? Well, this is what I would say is uh, motivated by love. Motiva- motivated by love. In other words, we love society and we love humanity as we love God. And that's what drives us. I think about this uh, story. And I don't know much about the character other than a snippet that I read in history about a man by the name of Gunga Din who, during the midst of battle, took the role of taking water to the wounded to both sides. He didn't take sides. He just says, there's a need. Humanity is suffering. I'm going to go relieve the suffering. Well, I think that gives us a clue. As a church, our job is to bring people to such a place in their lives that we're relieving the suffering. And we know that people are suffering because they're outside of faith and they're outside of the ability to be able to comprehend spiritual things and spiritual insight. And they need somebody to direct them. And oftentimes we do that through kindness and love, and always putting our fellow citizen, our fellow man, above ourselves, having a giving, nurturing, loving, ministering spirit. And I believe that's what the church is. I believe that we are people, that as we represent God's love, we minister one to another. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.